Happy Tuesday, guys. Uh, this is my post-fight thoughts on um, last weekend's events. I read in the the, um, the Glock and Mark fight. This is my um, this is my thoughts on the two fights. Um, first of all, uh, my guy sees return against um, the Ghanaian guy. I think was um, Tago. What's his name? What's his name? Before but sure his name, Emmanuel Tago. Um, I dominate fight, Garcia definitely dominate. You know, the goals actually look tiny. Rangi seems look like a giant. And I think, I think the, the, the Ghanaian name Tago's 5'8 and Garcia's like 5'10. So it's only, only like a two inch difference, but geez, that was, look massive. Absolutely massive. Why and Garcia dominate pretty much every round? I think Ryan Garcia was a bit rusty because I think if he. Plan the shots better, he could have knocked him out. I think you should have, I feel like you should have stopped him, Garcia. You know, no, Garcia should have stopped him, Tago, sorry. Garcia should have stopped Tago. Should have been a really, been a mid to late weight stoppage because he had him shot, definitely. I'm pretty sure, did he knock, did Garcia knock him down as well? I'm pretty sure I guess he knocked him down. I know he had him stumbled. Correct me in the comments if it, I'm pretty sure he did not knock him down. He had him stumble at least twice in that fight. I mean, a bit of body hurt, but good performance. But guys, he could have done better. Could have done better if he stopped. And the Tango t- tried his hardest, you know, put a fight, especially later on. He definitely showed he did had heart, but guys, he should have stopped him really. He, he had a better technique, more patience, shot, use his jab. He could have stopped him. And, you know, Gassi needs to do more. Keep He cannot afford. To um, have another long way off. Now he has to keep active. I fight at least twice more this year. Two, two, three more times this year. I think only one time is if he, if he wakes at the end of the year for another fight. I think he's has to little. He needs to be more active this year. He wants to prove the elite in one thirty five fighter. He has to, you know, be way more active. I think he needs another two, another two fights this year minimum. And if we also see, we, we shall see. I see. Anyways, oh, other fight, more, more the fight force, one of the fights of the year, definitely. Um, Sebastian Fredil versus Alex Lubin. What hell of a fight! Absolute, phew, brutal, brutal fight, man. Look at Lubin's face at the end, man. Oh, Jesus, he needs, he's got any surgery, man. His nose and eyes are swollen. Fuck, man. Brutal fight, man. Both clap. One of the fights of the year, man. He got two man. Lewison got um, you know, definitely got brutally beat. You know what, man? Brutal. I think in the second round, he got knocked down. Then he came back and and, and he knocked Van Der down in the ninth round. Absolute man. What a hell of a fight, man. Absolute man. Hell of a fight. Now round seven, um, Lewison knocked Van Der down round seven. But then he got stopped in the round nine. Then from dirt, but then from dirt up, Lubin round nine. Absolute hell of a fight. A hell of a fight. Brilliant, brilliant, you know. Scrap, man. Scrap, 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 you know. Again, for Dirt, I met Lubin like, like, you know, Lubin looked like a midget, non midget, but it's definitely tiny in comparison. They're both super welterweights. I'm surprised because. Um, for a day about looping like me, me no, more like lightweight in comparison. There was a big height difference. And just two fights I'm, I'm reviewing. Big height difference. Anyways, guys, um semi decent weekend of boxing. Um I like lost the performance from, from Glock and against Murata. I feel Glock, Glock definitely passed it. Um my guy, I see again, dominant, but again, it could have been more, much, much just better if he was more technical, more precise with his punches and use the jab. And the only fight worth we talked about was the, you know, Alex Lieber versus Sebastian Fiedler fight. It's one of the fights of the year. Hell of a fight. One scrap, man. Brutal scrap, man. Because that, that fight looked look disfigured. That fight looked absolutely disfigured. Anyways, guys, I want to do probably even tomorrow, Thursday. I'll definitely do the prediction on the up, this up, week is upcoming or um Eric Spence versus um the uh, Jordan the gas fight um for the unified World Championship. I may do Conor Ben versus Chris Van Heerden fight as well. I may do one on that one. 
I may do one. I might do the same day. I'll probably do, do either to be tomorrow or Thursday. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.